Hey, a while back, we did a video showing you how you could have a vertical and a horizontal scrolling website. It's really, really simple, okay? You, you know, look, we got a page here where it's got a vertical scrolling and everything, but when we get down to here, we also had a horizontal scroll, and the way we did it was we used slides. So we got a video on it. You, you get your slides, okay? Uh, you have one slide, obviously, per page showing at any one time, and then into your slides, you add in template shortcodes. You go to Elemental Templates, you create a full page VH, VW, 100, 100, okay, um, template. And then you drop the short code in. And then you can do this. You can move around between them and you can still scroll up and down. Fantastic. However, there was a problem with this. And you can clearly see what that is. If I want to move to slide two and I want to stop here, I can't. Look, it's just going to, it's going to, it's going to start moving to the next one. I can't have a halfway house or even a third way house or a quarter way house. I can't do any of that. But look, if I show you further down here, I have the same slides. So I've got slide one and I'm now going to move to slide two. Well, hold on. It's not doing that thing where it flicks straight away to the slide. I can now scroll however I want. I mean, look, I mean, on... The first method and the second method, you always get this white space here, but if you set your section background to black, it doesn't really matter or whatever color you got. But look, that is working really, really well now. I mean, look, it's just sitting there. Look, there's my mouse. Look, it's not, it's not flicking over. How did I do this? When you see it, you're going to go, oh, uh, there's no code because method one over here is just using slides. The only code is your template short code we added in. Super, super easy, right? Simple. Anyone can do that. Down here, this is using the testimonial carousel. Ka ching And I'm putting in the same short code with the BH, the BW, you know, the big page, whatever. It does it absolutely fine. You can go watch the video if you want to see how we made those exact templates. Search for the horizontal vertical scrolling website. But let me show you over here. Okay, right. So this was the slide section. Sometimes in edit, it doesn't show you, but it is there. Look, if I click it, this was the slides. We had slide one with the template short code. We had slide two, slide three. The slides had a height of VH100 and we kind of disabled all of the other options. I left the navigation in so you know that you can slide across and things like that. I mean, in styling, you're just setting your, your width and all of that. But we're not here to look at that. We're here to look at this solution here. Now, this is a section. The back of this section has a black color. So if there is any white on the left or right of the slide, uh, the carousel as you're moving it, that's eaten up by the black. Over here, you can't see. In fact, let me just make the style of this be, uh, let me just make the font of the content here be uh, a different color so we can see it. There we go. Over here, we have the testimonial carousel. There are three um, slides for the carousel. Again, they have the template short coding, right? Look, you get rid of the in name, the title, the image, whatever. You can put whatever content you want. This is Elementor. You want to put in a slide within a slide, you could do. Accordion, uh, toggles, maps, you know, videos, whatever you want, you can do. But here's the settings. Let me just focus on that. For the section, okay, it is a VH100 because it's the full height, just like the slides are, okay? The advanced, there is zero, zero on the margin and the padding. That's about as simple as it gets there. With a testimonial carousel, let's go down here. It's image in line, slide, one slide per view, and slides to scroll is one as well, okay? Simple, but the width is 100%. Do not miss this step. You miss this step, and you're going to have a little bit of like um, extra spacing on the left and right, even when it's full width, okay? 100%. Additional options. Take the arrows off. You leave the arrows on and it will eat into your space. I've also taken off the, uh, the pagination. There is none. You have pagination. Again, the dots will eat up space. Transition is 999. Why did I do 999? I, you, might, you might not believe this, but if you don't put a high number in, even though because it's a carousel, there'll be a tiny bit of movement. But when you set to 999, I'm basically saying the movement takes 9,999 seconds. Like, what's that? A day and a half? Maybe even more than that. I don't know. So it is not going to move unless someone sits there staring at the screen for a whole day. 
It ain't moving, people, okay? Uh, autoplay is off. Infinite loop is off, okay? These are the settings you do. Style, uh, zero space. That is important. And I made sure that there's no padding as well. Zero padding and the space is zero. And in the advanced tab, other than the margin and padding, which I just do by force of habit, there is no CSS code. There is no CSS code, right? Now look at this, right? We're back over to the page. This is what we had before. Look, the slide, it won't stop halfway or whatever. But here, I mean, look, I can do whatever I want. Maybe you've got a continuous image, like a really wide screen image you're putting in there with different um, uh, hotspots and points and whatever on there. This is now free flowing with zero code. No extra plugin, testimonial carousel at its finest. Let's just remind ourselves of the settings. Okay, content. Look, that's the settings there. You can see it. Blink and miss it. Additional options. Make sure you've done that as well. Okay. Styling. Just make sure you've done that. For the section, make sure there's, um, it's, you know, full width and all of that. And away you go. I hope you like and subscribe. And I hope this just makes you feel a little bit more happier with maybe mixing up a vertical and a horizontal website with no code. And for everyone that criticized me because they said, oh, you just use slides. Yeah, I know. But does this make you happier? I hope you like, subscribe, share, stick this on your blog, put it on social media, embed the video. I don't mind. I won't be upset. It's great for you. It's great for me. Keep following and I'll see you soon.